Hi everybody, welcome back to Borderlands 2. My name is Mikey Dubs, and in today's video we're playing some more randomized roguelands with Salvador the Gunzerker, the character that I probably struggle with the absolute most in randomized roguelands, simply because Gunzerker doesn't last that long. So, we're gonna have to find alternate ways to do damage that's not Gunzerker. Let's get to it. Now, I'm coming off of a fat win, spoiler alert, with zero. Oh, nice bandit launcher, a decent bushwhack. This doll magnum probably can get replaced with something else. This Hyperion Sniper can definitely get replaced with something else. We'll take him for now. But coming off of a fat win with zero, spoiler alert, which means the gauntlet has officially started. One out of six. Zero is complete. So I'm trying to get all six wins in a row. Now, I'm, it's kind of like going for a nuke in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. We're going to decide what's, which class mods we go after, I think, after we get our look at our skill trees. But I think those are probably better overall weapons than the ones we got before. So the shock rack of shell probably is better than this policy. Then home security comes in as well. Okay. So let's see. Let's see what skills we got before we take our class mods here. All right. Off rip. What do we see? What do we see? What do we see? What do we see? I think I see potential. Redeem the soul extends our fight for a lifetime for basically nothing. Scorn isn't as good on me simply because I have an override cooldown rate, which is pretty high. But I still think it's worth taking one point into. I don't have a way to extend Gunzerk duration at all. In fact, I'm basically going to be almost a Gunzerkless character, I think. I think I'm going to just Gunzerk us just way, way, way less. We do have a thrill of a kill along with no kill like overkill, which is going to give us a ton of healing and a ton of regen. But I'm seeing a lot of explosive damage synergy. Strip the flesh, do or die. This is velocity, this is not accelerate, so this makes the bullets go way, way faster. Down here, I have life tap. So on kill, I can get 6% healing. Okay. I think if we're being smart with ourselves, we're being realistic with ourselves. I think maybe we take Ranger for three. Underrated skill. It gives you a little bit of everything. All right, so I don't have money shot. I don't have insight, unfortunately. Max health and the reload speed probably goes pretty off. Pistol gun damage. Shield capacity and recharge rate. Do I have either of those two skills, though? I don't think I do. We have fleet for a shield slash heal build. I mean, we, we have a lot of healing. We do have insight. It's all the way at the bottom of this tree. That's crazy. A tier one skill all the way at the bottom. So if I put, if I get plus six. Oh, I have money. Wait, I do have money shot. Holy cow. Yeah, get me down this tree for money shot ASAP. Okay, let's roll. And I have a I have an assault rifle that gives me plus what is it? Plus six insight, plus five money shot. Yeah. It's not as good right now, because I don't have either of those two skills. So let's take the shield. Let's let's take the reload speed one. I don't think I picked up a gun damage one, did I? Just make sure. Did I pick up a gun damage? Just pistol gun damage. Okay. Let's rock. First enemy. Not a one shot. That's bad news. That's very bad news, actually. It's gonna, it's gonna feel real weird not gun zerking, but we're gonna use it as a heal primarily. And just play regular Borderlands. That makes sense to me. Yeah, I could increase my clear speed, but I'd rather just honestly just just bushwhack these kids. He doesn't go invis because we we played smart. They do a little knockback, but after the knockback, you get a... F oh, I forgot. I have Scorn, so I can slag as well. Every once in a while. See, I have actually have a Scorn cooldown. See, I'm actually punching. Which does have one benefit for us, and that is that we can utilize Juso's candy a little bit better. Okay, I think right here. Nope, right there. I wonder if it's always programmed to spawn behind, wherever you're looking. 
I, I tried to do a position base there, but it did not work. Let's go up here and grab this. Oh, I probably should clear those last two enemies then. Yeah, this is a situation where we want to pull out as much as much firepower as possible. I don't think we're actually going to have the, the damage to get this done. We might. This is, what, this is a must launcher situation. Okay. I think it's definitely worthwhile shooting the launcher shot there. Let's make sure we reload it. I, I have 10 shots in this bad boy. Also, my key binds, I was playing with Anarchy before. Key binds. We hit R to reload. It is currently June 26th. I don't mean to date the video, but I, here I go. I am 2024. I'm recording my first Rogue Lands video of the day. I've been recording Pokey Rogue equally as much for about an explosive damage relic that takes us absolutely to the moon if we get the right weapon. How about a shock damage relic? Takes us absolutely to the moon if we have the weapon that we currently have already. <laughs> Alright, so it's going to be rack a shell for a bit. Launcher max ammo and a, an extra grenade might actually go crazy. I have an explosive damage relic and I can go strip the flesh. If I so choose here. My explosive damage synergy is going to be absolutely insane. Can we go explosive damage. We just blow everybody up with rocket shots. I think we save our ammo for the boss. Hopefully we can get an explosive damage weapon. A shock and explosive damage weapon makes a lot of sense to me too. So like peak opener, yes, is already piquing my interest. The Jacob's magazine size and accuracy recovery. Watch, watch right now. Right, that's that's about my spread. Okay. If I take this allegiance relic. Okay. If when I'm full on ammo, I can shoot. Is it still shooting just twice? Yeah, that's pretty sad actually on the bushwhack. Pretty, not so great on the bushwhack to be honest with you. Shield capacity and recharge rate. I kind of want to shoot the recharge delay if I am going to go for something like that. Let's stick with shock damage. I thought that Jacob's Moan might, you know, be the be the focal point of a build here, but it won't be. Unfortunately, this is Rogue Lands Mini, by the way. If you're wondering how I got five points to start, Rogue Lands Mini gives you five points to start. I kind of wish mm, it was the same in Rogue Lands proper. Um, I think let's go for this SMG. We're boosting shock damage, and a shock SMG is good for close range, while the sniper is good for long range. Let's also let's keep in mind here that yes, getting a 30% boost on shock damage is nice, but if we are fighting against fire damage enemies or fire um, vulnerable enemies, there's a good chance that just using a fire damage pistol with Let's just say override cooldown rate twenty seven percent, and pistol gun damage might uh, pistol gun damage and accuracy might just be better. Let's see. So we score on the top, and we've reduced Scorn's cooldown. We're using this because it's supposed to be good against fire. It's supposed to be good against flesh. Now, if they have shields, I have an option off rip. Here comes an enemy with a shield, and it's a melee enemy too. That's the trick with this guy. He's got a shield. But once you once you're through it, then he starts doing the dot. But I've got a full shield. Focus. There we go. I can reload whenever I want. I'm not playing anarchy. It feels kind of nice. Back to my uh, my shock damage weapon of choice here, and then to the pistol. Elemental matching. You cannot go wrong with it, even if it is mobbing round two. I don't have any of those legendaries, you know, that can that can push me over the edge right now. I gotta play with what I'm given. Is that another melee? I'm gonna say. You're gone. I could add sh I could add more shock damage to this. That person's upstairs. But that's a lot of spawns right there. One of them has a rocket launcher. Plus an aid. I don't know what kind of aid I've got, but let's toss it in there. It's a transfusion, looks like, which is nice. 
rocket launcher boy. His movement is kind of crazy now. Not that crazy. We're getting dings. We're getting a little bit of splash damage, I think, when I when I land shots there. Crits, of course, are so important. Oh, that's a miss. It's a miss to an open and field rat. You decided to push on me, which means I'm now 1v1 against the blaster enemy. Feel much more comfortable pushing. I believe his shield is still down. Not if he's fighting in the wall. Not if he's fighting in the wall. Come out of the wall. That's actually, actually cheating. How can I line of sight this guy? I need him to move. I need him to have to engage me in a different way. He's inside that box. I think I see that. It's his SMG on his back moving or something like that. I'm down to just leave. The mobbing is not perfect. There are some... Some... Weird little hitches from time to time. This pistol's not doing as much damage as I thought it might. I think it might actually be just out damaging with a shotgun SMG. Let's give the shotgun SMG a try here. Just to see. And then we slap on... I haven't been scorning. That's a big deal, too. Let's shock on this... This... Shock SMG. See how this thing does. A little bit... A little bit easier to use. Probably relatively similar damage. Especially if you're scoring over the top. Much easier. Singularity, I think, is pretty important. Just having one. We do take, we get our five points, which means we now have a little money shot. Four points. So is it now worth it, would you say, to switch to an insight money shot com? I think so. Let's just slap on, let's just slap on money shot and lean into it just a little bit here. Maybe even get an 11 out of five money shot build going. I think there could be something special to that. Plus, we know where a lot of the pressure plates are. We can build up our arsenal relatively quickly. That the Yav goes pretty sick. 90... 93. So this one's 9.36 million. This one's 9.36 million. Same exact damage. Accuracy. Higher accuracy on the right one. Fire rate 4.7. Fire rate 13.1. Reload speed is faster. No, reload speed is slower on that one. It's like not even close. Oh, that's because I'm looking at the wrong rifle. 4.7, 4.7, 4.3, 4.3. 3. Max size is... Wow. So at this point, we just take the one. They're exactly the same. We just take the one that we think looks nicer. I think the other one looks nicer. Or do they look exactly the same? Yeah, I actually have gone delusional. It's crazy. I've entered a fugue state. Okay. I think that times three crowdsourcing can be nice if I can get the max size bonuses. The money shot will be kind of okay with it too. Okay, let's roll. We need fire rate bonuses. If we can get ourselves some fire rate bonuses, we go to the moon. I'm hoping. Although it is a nice launcher, I like my bandit one. Especially because I've stripped the flesh. I still have my launcher bailout plan if I need it. That's important to me. All right, so we could use this Diab. Or we could use this Grenadier. My vote, Grenadier. Anybody else? Because I have a saw rifle accuracy too. Team magazine size, 30, 51% could be, could be something. Yeah, let's go. Ooh, I should probably just use a Diab against this guy. He had no idea it was coming. 
They're asking me why didn't I scorn? Because if I scorn, that would have procced him, and then he would have started moving erratically. He started moving erratically. Boom. 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 Found out that I was reading some YouTube comments. Found out that I can shoot the groin area as well as the arms. A little bit of a wasted money shot there, as it would have already killed, but that's fine. EXP loader. He shot in the groin. <laughs> Turned into a crawler. That's hilarious. I could turn. I'm gonna. Go, I'm just gonna use the, my gun zerk here for the money shot, or for the uh, the heal, I should say. Not bad. Those money shots are feeling nice. Not bad shots. Not bad shots, actually. But in the meantime, let's just shoot their arms. And the red dot gives you the most crit damage. Is what the YouTube comment said. And I think that makes a lot of sense. I just tried it for the first time there. It was working pretty well. I didn't hit him anyone in the head, but. So that rockets, that purple bandit that I just picked, that I just got as a reward. Was it blue? This could be pretty insane. Because I've got. The only problem is it's not going to proc a money shot ever. Like, ever, ever, like ever in this world. Something like this could. Let's try both of these pistols. How do we feel about that? And then we get a money shot, or do we want something more like this? If you, if you choose the one, if you choose that second one, you, you don't know how to play games. Okay, and let's take our five points. I think we want to get to insight. So let's get let's take our let's take our money shot. Let's take our screenshot too. For that one's for the fans, and let's go to. I think sustenance. Eventually, we will get the fleet in onslaught. We'll be kind of we'll be kind of cruising. Fearless will help us with our shields down. So all I so we'll out of the bubble gun with, with our shields down. Lots of health regen. Lots of health. Max health bonuses. Come on. This could be the infinite tank, infinite damage build that no one knew was possible until right now. I have been fiddling around with the idea, and shout outs to who's ever been talking to me and chat about it, but just trying to get the best possible builds like go go just by myself or maybe even bring guys along and we just spam the randomizer until we get the best possible builds and come up with theoretical builds in my in my head that i'm trying to like match like the ultimate elementalist build is like all these different skills put together like that that could be pretty cool i just need to figure out how to do that i could just spam it i could definitely just spam the randomizer but i don't want to do that i'd rather be able to just to pick my skills there's a way to do that, guys. Let me know if I can pick my skills from any of the characters. Because then you're talking about an actual roguelite. An actual roguelite. The real one. You know? Now, picking your skills seems a little bit broken for a roguelite. I get it. Like this, I, I'm perfectly content with like this, this amount of randomization. But just like triple the skills. This same amount of randomization as this but triple the amount of skills. Add a fourth skill tree to every character. Add more characters. Yeah. Exactly. That is the, that's the DLC that we would want. Oh my gosh. Did the dome piece. Rack it back. We move. We should move. Hmm. I think team bullet regeneration is important in in the times when it's important. But I think we stick with money shot. And my weapons could definitely be better for the situation. I'm going to want something to drain these guys' shields. That's my option. I think we're going to much rather have an SMG than a sniper rifle here, personally. And what is my relic doing? Shock damage. Let's keep it on that. Okay, now we're going to scorn. 
have him chase and try to see if we can out damage here come on get us there take us to the promised land there we go not a bad test of our overall damage here in the beginning of the game max health is nice actually and a juice house candy for next round never mind that was just my my corrosive grenade going out for a search I know I have my shock damage relic on, so I'm not getting that much from this. Please don't hit me. Oh my gosh, I'm a beast. I think that money shot might have hit. I can cover here. Toss a grenade. How about score? I think we're looking strong. Things are looking good. Bada bing, bada boom. How about a creamer for, your, for my new launcher? The amount of ID there for sure. Yeah, because if I just run around with a creamer, if I have if I have ridiculous launcher max ammo and I just run around with a creamer, then I technically can't really die, right? And I can take an ammo regen. Will this work? If I take an ammo regen and run around with a rocket launcher. We'll see. I could use the infinite ammo glitch. But that would require gun zerking. And I'd also have to look up how to work it again. Because I someone taught me how to do it the other day on stream. But I haven't memorized exactly how it works. I personally like, to go, like going glitchless. But the problem with going glitchless is that you can't use glitches. And there are some glitches that are really fun and actually make certain weapons useful, like the flacker. You know, it gives them that, that niche use. How about some five points here? Uh, I think salt the wound makes some sense. Let me roll. This clan at this stage can either it can either take like five minutes <laughs> or like 30 seconds depending on how well you can do your jumps. Yeah, a little bit of slag finally. I mean I know I have scorn, but I wanted a little bit more. That jump doesn't work. Maybe you have to jump to the right of the ladder. I think this this could be a good time to practice. People that click off the video, I hate you, don't do it. Oh to the right side of the ladder. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Someone tell me, someone post in chat how do we get past that bad Larry. I'm going to prep a money shot. I'm funny like that. Okay, let's, let's try. Will I ever get that shot back? Will I get it back in Gunzerk? I don't think so. It doesn't look like I am getting the ammo back at all, even with the regen relic. Okay, interesting to know. Interesting to know. Looking for a large adaptive shield. A fire burst makes sense. A 0, 0.0 second homing corrosive transfusion makes sense too. Spike shield, let's rock it. Let's rock today. I think that's all. Let's roll. Prepping my money shot for next round. This enemy is weak to fire. Fire, fire, fire. So let's roll. Get my money shot off here with a scorn active, hopefully. Okay. Now let's go for this horror show. Do we have anything to boost it? No. But I do have max health. Which will be useful. He goes for his jump. I turn. And go for my crits. Not bad damage. I think I'm going to run out of juice here with my slag pretty soon. We're going to get an instant reset. Up. Oh. Hmm. That's a wasted magazine. No crits right there. The snipers, you got to be landing crits. Okay, let's scorn over the top. 
There's a couple. There's a couple crits. That's not so bad. Let's cancel that reload. There we go for a money shot crit. I'm not sure if that was a money shot crit, but it was a money shot that landed. So to me, that's all that matters. Money shot crit me. Hmm, wasted, wasted. Uh, does this guy you normally spawn this many lads in? I feel like this is a lot of lads for this fight. You know what I'm saying? This boss is relatively easy to deal with if he doesn't have so many lads. Like, he's like, that's like an over... Oh, okay, they have a different texture, though. The permanent ones have a different texture. Got it. Hey, what are you doing, bro? Just chill out. I'm trying to go for your lads. Make sure I hit these next two shots. Very important. Okay. I'm gonna shot Prox. Let me take that guy out. This would be nice to have no kill like overkill. Because then my next shot would have gotten a whole bunch of bonus damage right there. But you did you felt left out? How about a money shot crit? Let's go. Just land it. Just land it. Oh, ho, ho, my gosh. Scoring out. Okay, we're still chilling. Yep. We're 100% there. Okay. Little juice over the top. Let me get there. All right, looks like a looks like a pretty good drop. Let's see, legendary berserker glass mod that can actually get me to be gunzerking like at least somewhat. Just which matters. A deadly bloom is kind of nice. I like a roaster. I, I like a ruby for left hand shenanigans. That's for sure. I like a roaster. Okay. Bouncing Betty too. Let's rock. Uh, I think real to kill makes a lot of sense. Once we get no kill like overkill, it's also gonna go crazy sauce mode. I have to fight a raid boss. Depending on which raid boss it is, I'm going to want different things. So in that case, why not just hold off? Why not just hold off? Keep it moving. We hit box. If we get peak opener, the run is ours. Point blank period. Okay, we did get some other options that are that look quite nice. That's got some good synergy with us in the, the Avenger. I, I sleep on it pretty hard, actually, most of the time. And it's probably for a good reason. Yeah, everything I have is that I have is a pistol. Every good weapon that I have is a pistol. All my homies are pistols. We max out pistol. And I think we even... Is this giving us anything, really? Crit damage and insight when I get there, but I'm not going to get there right now. I guess one point into it is 12% crit damage and weapon swap speed isn't the most horrible thing in the world. Okay, let's roll. Who do we get? Who do we get? Hyperius? Craw. I, I don't think explosive damage works against Craw. This is a good time, good time to chance it. Good time to test it. We're gonna go, we're gonna go uncupped Herald here. The game gives you uncupped Herald sometimes, and you don't have that much damage going for you. You go on uncupped Herald. Explosive damage relic. Plus five money shot. If it doesn't do damage now, it won't do damage ever. Make sure that we have our. Uncapped Herald on two. There we go. You slag. 
Look at all that resist. Look at all those resists just flying out of my screen. You see that? I mean, it's not so, so bad. We're still doing decent damage. But I could be doing a lot more. If you're talking like someone like Pirate Pete, you'd be absolutely ecstatic to have this much damage against Pirate Pete. You'd be like, oh my gosh, it's the fastest Pirate Pete kill of all time. Yeah, we, only, we only go Ruby if we need to. That's also to help our ammo consumption. Which we don't need, necessarily need to care about right now. Okay, once we get Insight, we'll also be getting a lot more... Reload speed. Go. One shot per enemy here. Make it nice and simple. I've got lots of explosive damage. But these enemies will get shredded. There we go. He doesn't like that. That's that's one thing I, I guarantee you. He he doesn't like it. He might resist it. But he definitely does not like it, that, that feeling of just getting just rinsed. My health is fine. No reason to be doing a swappy swoop at this point. Hopefully we can get a slag money shot with all the rockets hitting. Come on. You know, probably like, go for crits. Go for crits. <laughs> Listen, I'm hoping that some of those side ones can hit the crit spots. Okay, maybe I will go for a couple crits. Let's take out a couple of these lads here. Yeah, we get a yellow candy. That's going to be good for next time. For next phase. I'm not going to do it this phase. I'm almost got him phased already. Got to make sure my money shots hit. That's all. I think he goes into it. Yep. And we actually have a couple transfusions here. That we can probably choose the best one. I'm interested to know if this will... Which one will do more to him? This one's a shorter fuse time. Just start chucking him, I think. Okay, here we go. But once he got, once Kra comes back, we're gonna try to cheese him with some grenade damage. Got a jolt's candy. Okay. Gold candy. Cross out. I don't know how much damage this he resists. It's definitely a secret resi resist up there. I don't think he resists enough to withstand the onslaught of the jolt candy. Right? Surely? Definitely resist, though. Gotta give it to him. But we do get the phase. Okay. Those candy gets us through that phase. Can't be too mad about it. I'll, st I'll just stick with it. It's, it's not that bad of a... It's not that bad of a grenade, honestly. Alright. Enemies further away from us are, will present a larger problem, but the hope is that they'll be squishy enough that I can also kill them... Just one or two rockets hitting for my unkept herald. The unkept herald can be a little bit weak at range against characters that do high damage. Like a lot of weapons can be. Like shotguns. The unkept herald is basically just a pistol shotgun. As scoring. I could have been scoring the whole time. Let's go for some maybe some slag money shots here. Kind of greeting my gun zerk here, but let's destroy one of these guys while we're still in gun zerk. There we go. Plus a grenade, why not? I should also just focus on the main boss here. Oh, he's slagged. He won't be slagged for long, though. No. I got time with money shots. That's the strat. Oh, no, we got to level up. I wish I had my money shot. What is he doing? Did you guys see what he just did? That was crazy. 
Maybe I'll get a mind shot off with this one. But this time it doesn't get slagged. It's so unfair. So, okay, we did it with explosive damage there. He does resist, obviously. But we did it. We did it nonetheless. We didn't have to really... We didn't, uh... Juice House candy or blue ca or Pyrex candy or anything like that. Or what is it? Mopioids candy? The red one? That, that one's even more broken. Instead, we just did it, you know, the old fashioned way. <laughs> Unkept Herald spam on Salvador. We do get a. Avenger. Infection Cleaner, yeah. Not bad loot. What's my loot from here? These are the best ones in the game, and that I don't get anything that crazy. A homely shot crossfire is nice, but I want to keep the transfusions. A, a pump and a rolling for the healing. I could call me crazy, but I think there's something to that. At this point, we can be a little bit more greedy with our weaponry. We got by Crawl. Now it's all about if we can buy a Pyro P or something like that. Adaptive Shield. Oh, oh, better Adaptive Shield. Okay. Sustenance giving us that little bit of health regen over time. Lots of iridium. Oh, that's what I like to see. Getting a slag ruby is quite nice. My main problem is that my guns are cooldown is crazy big. Let's roll. But tier one is completely over. We get an easy mini game. We can just chill. Go next. Okay, let's roll. Now imagine. Okay, imagine. Just picture this. Your mini game is you spawn in, and then exp loaders just start falling from the sky. You're coming through the walls and trying to kill you and blow you up. And you're like, oh my god! But you don't have to fire a single bullet, bro. You don't have to fire a single bullet. All you have to do is run in and out. Imagine you die to that. Oh, embarrassing. <laughs> embarrassing. Would never be me. To the forge we go. Hey, hey, ho, ho. To the forge we go. And this is a, this is the simple one. And be easy one. We don't have to be that... Because we already have a decent build, we don't have to be that overly critical about making sure that we take every single potential upgrade. We are going to be looking at all the major stuff. But we don't have to look at every, you know, not every single non-unique and be like, okay, how is that damage? That's that's tier one stuff. I think mouthwash makes a lot of sense, but shares badge. I don't think I have a lot of, I don't have a lot of fire rate. I don't think I have a lot of gun damage in my skills. The money shot has a lot. Ranger has a bit. I already have some explosive damage. I think I might just do better off. The mon mm, it's tough because the money shots will be better with the, sh with the explosive damage, but we get some more money shots if we have the sheriff's badge on. Ooh, my money shot went into the wall there. It's more money shots if we have. Oh, get him. There we go. The sheriff's badge on. Plus, it's just more fun. Oh, that guy tried to jump up here and completely failed. One of those hit? No, I want to get one of these missiles to hit before somebody dies. So let's, let's set up our money shot here. And let's try this. Can I money shot him? Can I one shot him with money shot? Of course I can. Of course I can. Let's set up another one. Can I one shot someone with just one missile? Oh, yes I can. Okay, that's big news. Let's take some points into... Elite. And then Onslaught, and then we go No Kill, like Overkill, Do or Die for even more explosive damage, Insight, because it's an exceptionally good skill. It kind of feels like it almost is like a capstone level skill, movement speed and then reload speed after taking damage. It's a pretty nice skill.
and we're gonna be getting plus six in it so we're going to be immediately feeling the power oh a nice quad let's see bandit grip stock doesn't matter too much so don't, i'm not too worried about the the wrong stock so we keep going I haven't used a quad in a while. I think I still have my money shot bonuses active. Or like my money shot class mod active. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, the Vengeful Raider, so. I'm specking hard into money shot. Hard into it. Why not? I mean, it's broken. Money shot always, always rips. A little bit of a guns are required zone here. Not bad. Did we get a candy there? No, it's a shield. These zones can be a little bit tr troublesome if you're not careful. There's a lot of bullet damage coming in. I didn't get a sham or anything like that. I have a Logan's gun and a sham. Don't think I forgot about that. This creamer could go absolutely insane. Now I seem to get that sham. It's probably the hardest one to get. There we go. That's what I thought. What do we get here? Override cooldown rate. I don't think extra shot chance is good, but I think I'd rather just stick with what I've got. Enemy in the back dies. Oh my gosh, this guy's movement is ridiculous. Jeez. You know what? Let's just gun zerk. Make it a little easier on ourselves. Ooh, -hoo, yeah. My boss damage is going to go insane, too. Let's grab our pressure plate. Again, no where it is in this map now. Might have just wasted some time climbing up here, but that's okay. Right? Did I not find it up top somewhere on this map? Or is that a different map? I swear I did. That's okay if I don't. It isn't tier 3 anyway. I thought I, I, thought I did. It is what it is. Alright, let's take our 5 points. Onslaught makes a lot of sense. A little bit of thrill. Oh, no kill like overkill. A little do or die. Bada bing, bada boom, boom, boom. So no kill like overkill will take all of my excess damage and add it to my next shot. Do or die is going to give me more grenade damage and allow me to throw grenades while I'm fighting for my life. And the grenade damage applies to my uncapped herald. They don't speak unless spoken to. <laughs> Look like no one was slamming you, dog. Chill. Don't speak. <laughs> Alright, Ruby, me. And the Ruby, of course, is going to be helping me slag enemies. But also giving me that nice, juicy, I think, 5% healing. Could be wrong about that number. At all times. When I'm gun at least. Which I, I'm not gun currently, so that's a little bit rough. Onslaught keeps me moving. Okay, almost died there, but we're, we're fine. No. Thrill the kill actually popped off. I feel the kill is actually doing a lot of work as far as healing goes. Here we go. We hit these. We hit those. Is out of range? Did we hit him? Oh, nice. I'm aiming into the ether, but we got to do what we got to do there. I think... The lower your health, the higher your reload speed makes sense to me. And then we got some insight. We could probably stop there for now, though. And unstoppable force probably makes sense, too, with life tap. Like, it's getting these skills is probably pretty important. Now, velocity has an interesting property with uncapped herald. I probably don't want to be taking it. That's a pretty big problem that we're facing. Let's not even face it. Let's just go more insight. Little bit of a problem. 
But we should be okay. Got one of the easiest mini boss rounds. This could have been Oni. But instead, we get just Bonehead. Which I don't think I've ever died to. Okay. Thank you, good sir. Do a, a quick speed. Let's see, team bullet regen, 3.7, reload speed, max size now. Insight to max. Maximus Prime, Maximus Potamus. Here's the problem with velocity is that when I shoot this thing, it spreads at about that distance. But if I take velocity, it'll spread at a further distance. Don't want that. Don't want that. I don't want it to spread at a further distance. I'd rather just take less damage. Let me roll. Okay. We're ready for the next zone. The canyon. The Frostburn Canyon. It'll be Scorched. Be easy, boss. Unfortunately for Scorch, it's just compared to the other ones, uh, some of the other ones, this one's pretty, pretty easy. This one's almost feels like almost like a, a mini boss. How about a slag up for my baga? Uh, unfortunately, I have Ruby for my Juby, so I kind of have already have something that does what the slag does, but a little bit better. It doesn't slag as consistently as the slag up, but it heals me. So much more utility. So your spot on the squad has been taken. Your services are no longer required. Although... <laughs> this guy just eats a money shot and he just dies. That's all that matters. What are we What are we doing killing these lads? Is that just fighting Scorch? Good question. Okay, let's go. Just go right at Scorch's face. Completely disrespecting the armor. And a Pyrex candy. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be trying to do it. The double cheese, it, it got me cooked once. I don't want to get me cooked again. Love Thumper is interesting. Oh, what's over here? Legendary Berserker class mod. I mean, it is nice, but I, I kind of want to stick to the money shot. Okay. More health regen. And less stats effects on me. I think all these things make a lot of sense to me. I'm not I'm not going to try to double cheese the raid for the Pyrex candy. I will not. Um we hit box. Okay, don't speak. You're crazy you're smack talking me. Rolling Thunder or Longbow Pandemic? Either one of them rhyme with transfusion, so it's kind of crazy. Come on. Thank you. A Hector's Paradise. Thank you. It's a nice option for me. Two hides of Terramorphous. The box completely trolled me. I was looking for a sham. I was looking for a peak opener. I think at this point, we just go Grenache. And one launcher. Let's roll. What's it gonna be? Little Terramorphous. Okay. I think we'll be fine to go this build right here. The money shot with Uncapped Herald. Do I have anything fire? Logan's gun? I don't think it's gonna do the trick though. <laughs> Who knows? If there's any ever a chance for Logan's gonna do something, it's right now. It's a times two. And it blows up. I don't have like a big crit damage scaling weapon to pair with anything right now. I don't it's rather keep the Ruby out. Yeah, this damage seems fine, honestly. 
That's about what is that? Almost a third of of Terramorphous in one go. And now he starts smacking, but I still have Gunzerk available. And I can throw a transfusion. Come on, spawn back in. Hopefully my transfusion can make it back to me. I don't want to use Gunzerk if I don't have to. Depend on the transfusion here. The money shots have to hit the main effort. I can I can I can afford some bonus shots on some other small lads. I still have I, I still have Gunzerk. I will use it here. He goes she goes for second smack. I go for continuous damage. Third smack. I do I do not care. I survived three smack tear morphus. Goodbye. Sticky home my own negative. Maybe. See, Sponge or Blood of the Seraphs. Blood of the Seraphs could give me a lot of heal regen. Okay. I might have to just... I might have to just cut my losses and go killing Blow to get down this tree faster, but... As of right now, I'm kind of juiced up. Don't you don't mess up these jumps. Imagine if when you failed this, you died. That'd be interesting. Like, it's the run ender right there. That could be fun. You don't want me just drinking my water? We yappers nowadays. Alright, let's roll. Through to tier 3 we go. This uncapped tarot's damage might start falling off, especially against smaller, faster enemies. There are gubs. Pick one out, one that we like. There's a devil. Shield capacity, no thank you. My relics are, I got, I'm spoiled for choice as far as relics go. I was pretty happy with that Terramorphous damage with the, with the Uncomped Herald. So we continue moving with it. In these kinds of zones, it might be more worthwhile to unspec off money shot. But whatever, I mean, we're still, we're kind of r running the game anyway. It's kind of nice to have the money shot against tougher enemies. If they are here anyways, right? I don't have, I don't have to rush to shoot my shots. Pretty simple, honestly. All right, what do we get? Captain Blade's auto idle or extra shot chance? This guy just lived straight up. Hmm. Interesting. Um, <laughs> Captain Blade's auto auto is nice, but I do not want to lessen my fight for my lifetime. So that's a very valuable number to me. Wow. It's the casual Ravager. You know, the kind that's just lying around. And you know what? Let's, let's lean into it even heavier. Deputies badge me. It's extra shot chance. I want the deputy's badge. There we go. I'm only getting two shots with it, but oh, these two shots are going to rip. Is that three hot mamas? Is that a new record? No, it's only a couple. It takes a saw bar. That gets, it does get grenade damage scaling. Okay, let's roll. Ow. I think I just slagged myself. Ugh. Come on down. The price is right. Yeah. Oh, that's some damage right there. One, two. Nothing's going to survive that second shot. No kill like overkill as well. Which means that's going to do some deeps. Oh, the double tap. Hydra or... Hmm, not a bit, not the biggest fan of the Hydra. Let's go to the, the Teeth of Terramorphous because I think that also gets splash damage scaling. Or Baron sounds nice to me. And we might, we might have to start just saying, you know what? Just give us the bad skills. Yeah, I mean, they're not... They're not, they're, they're not anti-synergistic to the rest of my build right now, but... 
I mean, I could swap off the Uncapped Herald. I could. I don't have to keep using it. But it's our biggest damage option. So I would like to keep using it. This zone's going to be a little bit loud in my ears. So we're going to take a little bit of damage that it takes to get into our settings. Switch, switch back to our first and second weapon. Even though that's not working for some reason. And blast them. My shot only applies to the right hand weapon. Having these backwards is actually pretty, pretty bad. There we go. And let's swap these two. And put on our pistol damage. This is a tough zone. If the, the recording is saved, the recording is saved. Everything is fine. Nothing happened. Okay, we're chilling. That was everyone's water break. If it if it if it did in fact work the way I think it did. Okay, just don't die here. Can't they can't let people down now. I only have two kills. What in the world? Start tossing nades out then. Nade me. Get a little bit of health regen going. Go. Oh, where's my no? Where's my throw the kill there? Dang. Luckily, I didn't take Captain Blade's auto idol. I could have been healing up after each kill, but to reload off. There's a pretty good argument for running the Gunzer class mod that I can be in Gunzer way more often, which will give me the like the. The actual, you know, healing and stuff like that, but I don't prove that I can do without it, to be honest. Let's take some more points down this tree so that I can actually start getting some useful skills. And we can get our, our audio back up. It's a loud zone. See how loud that is? It's crazy. That's in Gunzerk, too. I will spare you guys the final shot. Now we red chest. We red chest it up. Our gear is actually pretty okay. It's our skills that I'm worried about. It's our skills that I'm worried about. I would like to take at least one stop to tie Tina's DLC. So that I can at least try to get myself a... A, uh... A... Chaotic Evil Monk class mod or something like that. Okay, when I said Tiny Tina DLC, I didn't mean this zone. Come on. We have to live here. We have to live here. Let's go. We're going to go right into... Go right into Buzz, uh, to Gunzerk. Go for my shots on the most important lads. These, that being the Skeleton Mages. Thank you. Crystal Skeletons are important to die too. Actually, everyone here is important to die. I don't want anyone alive. We're losing Gunzerk. I think it might be worth it, honestly, to kind of try hard this. And take the Gunzerk cooldown. The highest one that I got. 51%. And put it on. I know Meme think that is going to be better for us in the long term. Get our speed, too. We still got the 8 points and insight, which is nice. Not bad, not bad. I can, I can, I can even get myself a nice class mod here, if I can, if I can clear the zone out. Let's just gunzerk it up. I don't have the plus, uh, plus five in money shot for now, but that's okay. 
Oh boy. Where are you? I don't know where you are, but I only have to kill one more enemy. There we go. Easy sauce. Now, we scoured the outskirts real quick while we have our, our speed. No class mod. We're going to be careful. We don't want to get tricked by a... by a mimic chest. There you go. There's the borderland symbol. And there should be a pressure plate on this map as well. There's something weird going on in the middle over there. Okay. Che I checked all of the outskirts. Not quite. I didn't know. Mimic me? <laughs> okay. I'm gonna say. I'm still looking for class mods. Ones that give me money shot. But also have other useful skills. Or, or stats that aren't like a sorrowful accuracy. Please tell me there's another chest here. Or a pressure plate or something. Okay, come on. Class mods. No more pistols. How could you do this to me? There is a pressure plate here somewhere, and I want to find it. There should be. I'm going to look for it. I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, well, I think I might have found it right away, actually. There's no way that that wall is put there by anyone but uh, Jolt's dude. This is a higher cooldown rate one we take. Take a couple Nirvanas, why not? What do you got against Nirvana? Let's roll. This is probably worst case scenario. In all my dreams and all my nightmares, never encountered a scenario that is as that is as scary as this. We are officially going up against. Go ahead, do it, and then I'll guns her. Get all back all that healing. Basically get a free kill, right? Isn't that how that works? Okay. An ultimate badass I gotta take care of real quick, hopefully. No, we go down. Because I will not have my gun zerk. Means I will be entirely vulnerable. Torn over the top. Hopefully this does something for me. Yes, you go down. Hooey. Not bad. Take out you. This is when you wish you had life tap. But I got my shields recharging as we speak. Speed. I am speed. I am speed. Okay. You go down, I guess. It's a, a, a whiff magazine. Can't be doing whiff magazine shenanigans right now. Ultimate badass. More like ultimate sad last. There we go. Climb here. Find this nomad tyrant. I can shoot right through his shield. Go ahead, man, Mike. Spawn in. See what I, see what I care. I changed my mind. Don't spawn in. Do not spawn in. Do not spawn. I'm hoping that if I stand right on top of it, when he's this guy spawns, I'll be just fine. Watch that mini map. Because sometimes he spawns in a little early, I've noticed. Like sometimes I don't need to go for a full wipe, a full clear. This guy will just spawn in. There it is. Okay, we might go down, but that's that's a Mad Mike classic. Oh my gosh, he puts on an exhibition. What a performance. What a performance. Legendary Titan could have something good for us. Doesn't give us points in insight, though, which is what I want the most. Okay. Go healthy here. Get absolutely just dumpstered, by the way. Can we shoot all of them? From right up here. All the TVs. I know there's one right there. There we go, got that one. Can I shoot this this first one from up here as well? I'm close. I am close. There it is. Ow. Okay. Now I can just take the stairs up. Get my TVs. That'll give me some E-Tech weapons to look at. How could you? 
Wow, that's not working. A, a fire top near could be useful. Maybe even more useful than the creamer, as far as taking out dragons is concerned. To the gulch we go. Hey, hey, ho, ho. To the gulch we'll always go. We have that fire damage explosive shotgun. The fire to the Terramorphous, and it could be fun to use. So why not? Let's slap it on. We could go saw bar. I kind of want to. I kind of want to go saw bar here. Well, the saw bar will never, will never money shot. Where's my fire to the Terramorphous at? There it is. This won't money shot either. <laughs> Who needs my shot? Let's go. Bring it on. This should do big deeps to this guy. Maybe. If I land my shots. You know, let's compare. Let's compare that to the saw bar. I did have a sheriff's badge on, I will say. I did have a sheriff's badge on. Subbar is not that much better. If better at all. That's a slag turkey as well, just saying. I'm gonna be in trouble here if I don't swap back to the uncapped herald. Make sure we get our- Oh, that guy's flying in. Make sure we get our pistol damage relic back on. Sheriff's badge me. Never go wrong with a sheriff's badge, I swear. A lot of- a lot of tanky lads here. I don't want to be fighting. Did you guys fight somebody else? Whoa! Turkey found me. Okay, if I get hit by that, I'd probably die, but looks like we're chilling. Now we can slag and bag. I said slag and back. Where where are you, slag? Where are you, slag? I used to know you. Yeah. Okay. Well, this this is this is good. This is decent. I should have gotten up. There we go. Give me that loot. A big chunk of iridium as well. 497. This iridium matters. This iridium matters. Give me the five hundo. Five hundo slice. Five hundo. Five four for four ninety nine. Oh my gosh. A little bit more iridium. It actually matters so much. Crazy. Peek opener me. Peek opener me. Should I go for a tortoise? <laughs> Maybe. Come on, guys. This iridium matters. Yes. Okay, let's roll. We had the weapon, we had the setup. Now it's just time to execute. A rifle all the way. Grenage, agreed. Launcher, 100%. Everything else is on the back burner. Let's rock, let's rock two box today. Happy to have the Hornet around. I wish it came out earlier, but it is what it is. What's up? Very nice. Okay, so. Let's do a respec before the dragon fight to see what we need. Scorn, I would say yes. Strip the flesh, I would say yes. And Ranger, I would say... Probably yes. Every point in my shot we can get, every point in the heal we can get, and every point into forbearance we can get. Now, sustenance makes a lot of sense to me. Thrill of the kill sounds okay. It's not so great. Fleet sounds amazing, though. And I want to get insight. That's why I'm down here. Which one of these makes more sense? Onslaught does. And I want to cap out insight. I think it's really important. Hang down into this skill tree. I think we can take velocity now.
Fancy Mathematics. Keep our shield up as much as possible. I don't get Life Tap. Which is tough. Anything I can give up? I don't think so. Not getting Life Tap is tough here. That's okay. Let's roll. Let's roll. Operation Get Down Green Dragon, and then Operation Win the Game from there. The Thompson is going to be what I use to do it. I am going to use this the Raider class mod, the Vengeful Raider. With the money shot with my peak opener. My Relic is probably going to end up being... Shock damage. Let's go. I'm not sure if I have what it takes here, but let's hope I do. Let's get to my, my main weapon here. If I don't have to take any damage. If I do, it's fine. And just... Do as much damage as I possibly can. With money shot. And this peak opener. Do we one phase the green dragon? Is a good question. Does not look like we are. Okay. I realize I'm throwing I'm throwing the wrong grenades against the wrong enemy. But I really wanna I don't one phase him. That's okay. Now what we do is we attack, put on 53% cooldown rate. An O negative that can actually heal me. Throw it to the skies. And this, I would say this, this ruby. Let's look it down the green guy. There we go. Hey, green guy's back. Would you look at that? Go for the kill. You will summon more lads here for me. There we go. Now, purple. Purple lad, purple lad, what do I see? I see a purple lad wanting to come fight me. There we go. Let's swap back to our auspicious raider. Or ve our vengeful raider. Okay. Just using that money shot. Money shot me. Okay, he almost got him down below half. That's not so bad for a first pass. Have a green green power up. Save that for I would say blue dragon. We need to get green guy back down, but we can't do it right away. We have to wait a second. Get our cooldown rate fifty three percent back on. There we go. Why did that? What happened to my shield? I'm not sure. Oh shoot! This is what's all about right here. Can we get the kill on the lad when we need it? We can. Okay, I might have to... Uh, let's grab a green power-up. And can we melee this guy through his defense form? We cannot. Let's be a good kill to get. If we can get it. There we go. I think I think fire dragon's gone. I think purple dragon's gone. A little bit cheesy. A little bit cheesy. A little bit cheesy. Oh, why'd you not land here? A power-ups. Okay. We're gonna have to prove our worth without... Well, that's what's been popping off for us. What else can do the job? Uncapped Herald got us here. And are we... We're, we have Guns Arc up, which means I think the money shot might be better. The Vengeful Raider, whoever that is. There. Okay, bring it on now. Who are you healing? There's nobody left. Okay, not bad. And I can also crit with this setup. I realize I've got velocity, so I want to be backing up a little bit, I think. My bullet spread is not exactly what I want it to be. This guy can kill me. I believe he can. So let's just take it easy. Not bad. Okay. 
start dinging him with the Thompson. The Thompson did his job this fight for sure. It brought down the dragons when he did it too. Thank you. Once again, I ask, who are you healing? There ain't nobody around. It's you and me, the final dragon, in a run that couldn't be stopped. In a run that could not be slowed. Super easy. Let's rock that. Absolute beast of a run. Oh, my loot's going off the edge. So you already have all the loot you could ever possibly want. Yes, yeah, so? It's my destiny. Okay. Let's rock. Pretty clean run, honestly. A, pr a pretty clean run. You can't really go wrong with runs like that. Didn't go down that much. And what I did it was pretty under control. Went down once during the dragon fight, but we brought down green first for that exact reason. Talk to me. <laughs> thank you. Anyways, thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed, hit the like button. Subscribe to some more videos like this one. See you all in the next one. Bye.